What's up guys, this is The Boyfriend and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to run off upon last time, I believe we captured Vienna. And that has made us, it had us, uh, well, has allowed us to create quite a nice little front line. And um, the only pustule waiting is Saxony, which will fall in due course. However, I think I would very much like to secure uh, this northern area, this area north of Berlin. So it's R under Charles Philip Belson, which I think I might actually move out to start to engage in this direction. I also have, now oh, you're more of a garrison ready to protect against Sweden, but I do also have Michael Stowell's army here ready to deploy, but I'm going to wait for the end of winter to happen. I'm probably going to land in Courland to secure another um, border with my Russian allies. And I could attack around to the south, but to be honest I think I'd rather just start to knock out some of these German armies, because we do also have Gluka himself on the field, so we need to start to whittle down numbers before they have a chance to surround us, or engulf us. So let's take this army and attack up to Prenzlau farmland. It's giving us dodgy odds, but I don't see why they should be any different. Um, but let's attack. Let's push them back. Um, I'm assuming Berlin hates me, but that's why we have Henry Clinton's army in the rear, ready to garrison to present, prevent any public order problems. And also to keep an eye out for any sneaky Prussian end arounds. Ooh, this is not great terrain. Here we are fighting in the winter time. So, okay, so let's see if we can deploy semi sensibly. To be honest, I think I might want both my sets of guns up here, this sort of area. So, I want to move. One battery up to this hill, if I can, but I might want to deploy, to be honest, I might just deploy them all, both, all of them there, because there's not really that many good positions. So I've got infantry on the right flank, which doesn't want to deploy because of this section of terrain. Let's deploy some... So the Coldstream Grand is the 115th Regiment of Foot and 100, well, the 88th Foot Connacht, Ran Connacht Rangers to secure the left. Howitzers follow up the main line. The 95th will hold the right and advance through the woods, supported by the 15th Hussars. Then on the left, we have the Horse Dragoon, the Light, light Dragoons, Light Horse, and Horse Guards. Good. And then. General in the center. Gaining a route by sacrificing a unit is a sure way of enticing the defender out of his strong defensive position or luring. Don't worry about me trying to lure him, good sir. He is not going to like the treatment he receives. Let's go up to the So they are in a strong defensive. Okay, so for some reason my game just hopped to desktop for no reason as far as I can see. As soon as these guys get into a good position, we're going to want to rapid fire. Fortunately, it appears they are not taking advantage of their range because their army is not yet in position. Now they are. Okay. If these guys could run, I would make them run. Come on, Feldjager, do you want to... Ooh, I see the horsey sticks. 
Oh, good. They're actually redeploying their artillery. Good God, that's perfect. In which case, then, let's speed up time. Until our artillery is in position. Oh, so close, but my how up says how far away are you? I should put you within range. So does this Prussian light horse have carbines? They do have carbines. So stay there, but don't go too crazy. Actually, I might even draw you back a little bit. Okay, they are not yet unlimbered. Again, because they're still... It looks like the AI is trying to wants to wait until all its units are deployed before it unlimbers and it will be its doom. Because that's a whole lot of cannons that are about to open up onto it. Not just any cannons, barraging cannons. Like we have started. How it is already a limber. Musketeers are moving towards the 95th. Good God, do these chaps have no decency? Careful when you attack a large gun team, I'm afraid, boys. I don't even think I need to move my cavalry in. Okay, maybe... You guys continue... No, you're, they're finally routing. Okay, so let's get them firing back against the troops. Okay, so the musketeers are moving in. So the 15th. You move up in a position to advance. These guys are about to be ambushed by accurate rifle fire. Good stuff. Howitzers are firing. Completely redeploying now in the middle of an advance. Well, now's the time. I believe. What's my howitzer range like? Pretty good. If we advance out of howitzer range, then the battle's already over. If they want to give up. If they want to give up fighting position, then we should take it from them. Particularly if they wish to bundle up in such such mass.
There we go. One unit's moving out to match, to meet us, but it will not do them any good. Nope, they're falling back. This unit will fall because it's completely isolated. Very careful of these infantry spikes, these cavalry spikes. Come on, the 95th. Come on, Mon General. suffering quite significantly because we are engaging their artillery at point blank that's a canal barrage yep general's kick general's bonus is kicking in So much firepower is going off in this area. You scallywags. Good god, the howitz is doing a tremendous job. Come back. Okay, you need to move out and then hit that, you know, musketeers, and you're probably going to join them actually. They're engaging us in melee combat at point blank range. God, this is a bit of a slaughter, isn't it? So let's bring the 15th, the 15th, 15th around the flank. Pivot around, capture the hill. Let's pick my other cavalry just to smash right into that Union Musketeers. Your 15 Hussars! Fair sure I've got my headset on back to front because everything sounds like it's coming from the other direction. I 
can just halt how it's at fire. So let's halt rifle fire. Well, no, don't halt it, just fire at them. so many Prussians we can kill. Spin you guys around. You guys, just bayonet charge. The 6th Regiment of Landwehr is going to get chewed up. See, they're trying to regroup, but it's not going to work. Yes. Just get involved. Knock out the gun team, continue. I've not really got my general involved, but it's mainly because of these anti cavalry spikes. I've been burned quite a lot by them. So let's just speed up time. Just let my cavalry do work and let whoever wants to escape escape. Because that's a gun team destroyed, which is it going. Because either way, if we don't fully kill the units, we're still going to do huge amounts of damage, so... Okay, let's just bring you guys back. Then let's move up my cavalry. Good stuff. Okay, you go. Your guys have routed, so just come up, come up here and join. Just join the mele melee over here. Okay, make my general go back the way he came. Then come around in this direction. He wants to get involved in anything. These guys are managing to screw up. I know they're very tired. But you're slaughtering whipped dogs. They've been defeated already, my lads. Go after him, because he's one of the he's a remaining unit. So it's everyone on one last unit of landfare. Oh. Yep, but they're going to rout. Sad face. But that's a good victory for our general. I didn't get as many. We can't always utterly destroy the enemy. So we'll have to take what we can get at times. Still, very handsome ratio. Let's knock them back to Stettin. They can replenish. And, God, one turn. They'll be ready to push on to Stettin itself. Then our Brandenburg's not completely upset. Good. So Henry Clinton moved to Potsdam. Actually move here. Because there wouldn't be anything to stop Luca from smashing west over the bridge straight into Berlin. Okay, let's go back to England to make sure everything that can be upgraded is upgraded.
So ooh, we have captured a new university. Do we want it? Not really. So Oh yeah, it's gonna be converting it to a secret society. Perfect. Okie dokie, the infrastructure's all good. Prague is good. Good. I think our next target's going to be Austria. Oh yeah, these guys are just waiting because well this guy's actually just dying naturally. William de Dornberg is moving up, ready to hit. Ready to hit Stuttgart when the time comes. To be honest, I might pick, pick Wellesley and go pick Ralph Habersack. Ooh, lots of cavalry. But let's assault. Out of our lands, because right now I believe we've got them completely surrounded, so they won't. We have to actually kill them. Well, I think one of these armies, because right now around this area, three armies. I've got William, I've got Wellesley, I've got uh, Bob Crawford, and I've also got someone else in Innsbruck. One of them is going to get a lucky voyage around to Romania. Okay, so where do I want to position my stuff? To be honest, there aren't really great positions. This is a or would be an alright position if they didn't capture it. If they decided not to attack. So let's do something like something like this. Because this isn't a terrible position against a good chunk of their army and it provides a bit of deflect a bit of defile from their artillery. Too much infantry. Group. Listen on one flank, get some foot and some highland foot. To push through one flank and then a whole bunch of infantry and highland foot to push around on the left. Cavalry ready to respond to wherever their cavalry comes from. Wellesley can be ready as well light the light foot. Oh, it's a unit. God damn it. But this flank's got a long way to go, and there's lots of cavalry, so I need to be acutely aware. Can this infantry move up? through the centre. I oh, left you in a foot behind. You should be with them. Yeah, that's okay. Then the other flank. Nope, that's my... That's the one I wanted. Whole lot of cavalry. I'll probably move my cavalry on the left. Wellesley in the centre. And this speed of time. Okay. Oh no, they're redeploying their artillery, not actually going to deploy it. Cavalry's moving on the left, on the right. Okay, they're charging. Yeah, I think I've definitely got my headphones on back to front. And I do. Engage the Lancers. Because... 
I'm not certain where they're going. And I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be into my guns. In which case, then... Engage them with infantry. You guys are limber. I very much do want to swamp them before they get to... Get into a position where they can do some real danger. So at least by pinning them and bringing my infantry to bear, we can actually do some good. As we drag them from their saddles. Our guns have fired, they're engaging them. Perfect, an artillery, artillery team wiped out. So you might be able to knock out, completely knock out this unit of lancers. Good, all of you march straight on into that unit of lances. Pull them from their horses. Damn, I left my light behind. Form square. Form square. Good. Let's get out of square and let's form line. And be ready to provide fire. These guys are about to be horribly bottlenecked. Okay, so they're going to be hitting the flanks, form square. Let's get my kit, get my cavalry out to position, out of position. Let's get my infantry in. Okay, you go there, you go there. Pivot this flank in. All you chaps are limber. Good, the Swiss grain is and it shot to pieces. Forming, doing diamond formation. I'm going to burn it, charge. Form up. Is doing a good job. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. Oh, it's time to come back. Let's get my dragoons into that infantry unit because they're pretty strong and they will probably come back. 
just send a foot unit to capture the top of this hill. She did send the lights to the top of the hill. These guys just advance. Not maximum use of firepower, but I can deal with some inefficiencies. Good, for a minute I thought that was mine. Square. And then it shot off their saddles anyway. Yep, yeah, broken. Let's get out of square. Swiss Grandiers, they're about to get a mouthful of musket muzzle. Particularly from the mighty 12th. When they've reloaded. Eighth Lancers form square. So then these guys secure the crest of this hill. Secure the new bottleneck. Go. So you know, foot artillery have returned. And we've also got this infantry unit back here. That's about to eat some cannonballs and eat some musket fire from the sixth regiment of foot. Good stuff. Yep, that far to me, it's going to have a hell of a surprise too. Yep, they've been broken by the howitzer fire. So they're creeping through the forest trying to find their guns, and look what they find. Jesus Christ! Regiments of angry Brits. Oop, these guys have come back. Yeah, okay, everyone else is utterly broken, so I'm going to speed up time now for this to... To be honest, I might actually just do play, halt, all artillery fire, you guys just go in with the bayonet. Sorry, Prussians. Can't stack up against the brush the British troops. Good stuff, they're getting absolutely shredded. Good. I think that's a solid win for Wellesley. Good battle. He does need more cavalry, but to be honest, useful, historical, whatever. One of those words. Good. Almost utterly destroyed. 
finish them off. Good. And that does put you in range for attrition, but you will recover. Okay, let's get... Yep, you are getting some artillery. Good, because Stuttgart has no defences, but it's got a reasonable army and it will get a bit of a garrison, so it might get extra artillery there. Cool. Let's hit end turn and see what the AI does in response. Here come some ships. There's trade fleets. Oh no, they're probably a new, new Mediterranean garrison squadron. You can't hope to... Oh, I forgot to deal with... Oh, go on, Belgium. Oh. Falling back in quick succession, though. Nevertheless, we are doing very, very well against the Prussian dogs. Oh, yes, the Russian Navy is in the med. I thought they were going to declare on me then. If they did, they would regret it. Although at some point we do just need to knock out Dr Dresden. And put the Belgians to use, because right now they're not doing anything useful. Infiltrate. Good. Case Diplomacy, Kingdom of Belgium, oh no you're at war, you joined my war against the Prussians, sort of. Oh good, it's not wind, it's not uh, super deadly times anymore. Okay, so, not going to want to cross over the bridge because that's where the Russians are. So I might want to put Wellesley on this bridge. Or maybe here. Um, you're ready to attack. Alexander Abercrombie, you, my son, might be ripe for an expedition to Bucharest. Potentially. Well, actually, it's now time to... Well, actually, I need to get rid of you. Fourth gun, fourth gun. Don't know what you are. Yeah, when in doubt, use George Elphinstone if you need if you need a unit to be killed. Yeah, it's just it's a it's a tilt. Good. Then get into poor. Well, actually, stay Michael Stowell's army. Embark them onto their one ship, because that's how things that's how things be done. We landfall this side of the river. Get this army navy. Because uh, you do have an embarked army to move out hit Danzig it's more about deploying the deploying their army than having them stuck on ships because this navy could have sallied out and knocked them both out even though they're all not very strong navies so Henry Paget, your target is Konigsberg Michael Stoll, your target is Mittal. Winter attrition, not anymore. Can you move out of Innsbruck? You can. So you'll get ready to move to this port here. And Wellesley Nelson will provide ships. Actually, no, he won't. You will travel by Merchantman. Nelson Monesco. 
general available, Charles Colville. Let's probably move you out as well. Okay, he moves up here. So I want Bob Crawford to be ready to move on Dresden. But let's have a look at Dresden. Saxony. They're allied with Russia, so if we do that, this might be war with Russia, which I would be okay with. Well, I think I'd rather declare on Austria somehow. So are you allied with the Papal States? No, you're right allied with the Kingdom of Naples. What, Sardinia? Nope. So let's try and do some... Okay, so I want to do... Break your alliance with the Austrian Empire. And we'll give you interchangeable parts. Good stuff, because I want to break apart the support network. So I want to also break up uh, Let's give you abolition of slavery. Sicily, Naples, Greece, Prussia. Okay, and then also Mecklenburg Strelitz. So break your alliance with Austria. I'll become your protector and I will also give you logistics and army corps organization. Damn. Okay, so when you break your alliance with Austria for Diamond formation was never going to work. Ooh, I almost gave you that for free. Well, you're going to be ready to attack Stuttgart. Russia is no longer allied, in which case, Bob Crawford, you need to be positioned ready to declare on Schwerin. In which case, then, this Hanoverian army would be quite nice to build up. Five more units. Let's get... Let's get some... Two units of Brit infantry. Sorry, guys, I didn't get to the button quick enough. Um, the recruiting British Dutch line infantry. We need to position just in case they choose the Austrians over me. So let's push up Henry Clinton to this bridge. Charles Philip Belson. Move up and hit Stettin. And I think this is where we're going to end the part during the siege, well, the attack on Stettin. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continued adventures of our mission to kill the Prussian dogs. All right, cheers, guys.